Today we're going to be taking a look at the best hitch options for your 2018 Lexus RX 450H. Up top here we're going to have our Kurt and right below that we'll have our draw type. Now the first thing you're going to notice is they do look quite a bit different. It's because when we install our hitch we are going to have to take into account that our exhaust is going to be our passenger side. Now the Kurt has put in a slight curve right here to compensate for that so our exhaust can actually go right underneath the hitch. Whereas the draw tight is just going to come straight across and we're actually going to have to relocate the exhaust. Now on the side where our hitch is going to mount to our frame, there is two small holes in the side here where our exhaust bolts are going to go through and it's going to lower it down a few inches. So if we do decide to go with the draw tight, just keep in mind that the exhaust is going to be a little bit more visible on the back of our Lexus. Now both of our hitches are going to require some trimming of a plastic underbody panel it's not a big deal, it's just right where the receiver tube is going to come out, we are going to have to trim that plastic so it has room. Now in the draw tight also, we are going to have to do a little bit more trimming because that tube is going to come straight across and we're going to have to make room for that as well. Now when it comes to mounting accessories in either one of our hitches, clearance is going to be a key factor. Our Kurt is actually going to sit up about an inch higher than the draw tight, as well as stick out just a little bit more, but still being pretty flush with the bumper. Now the reason why that matters is if you have a bike rack or a cargo carrier, you're going to want as much ground clearance as you can get. Now it's sticking out to the bumper and being pretty flush is going to matter because we're not going to have to reach underneath the bumper to try to reach that locking device or that hitch pin and get everything hooked up. Another key factor when talking about hitches is going to be the weight ratings. We're going to have two weight ratings that we're going to be talking about. The tongue weight, which is going to be the maximum downward force right at the receiver tube, along with the gross trailer weight rating. Now that gross trailer weight rating is going to be the maximum amount the trailer hitch can pull. And that includes the trailer and anything you load on it. The Kurt is going to have a 600 pound tongue weight, along with a 4,000 pound gross trailer weight rating. Now our draw tight is going to bump it up on the tongue weight a little bit. It's going to have a 675 pound tongue weight along with a 4500 pound gross trailer weight rating. Both of our hitches are designed to work with weight distribution systems and that's going to be a separate thing that's going to mount on your trailer and work with your trailer hitch that's going to be exclusively used when you are towing. Now Kurt's going to bump that gross trailer weight rating with the weight distribution up to 5000 pounds and the tongue weight is going to stay the same at 600. And the draw tight, the weight ratings are going to stay the same with the use of weight distribution. One thing you want to keep in mind is, is you want to double check your vehicle's owner's manual and you never want to exceed the manufacturer's recommended weight. So now that we've gone over some of the differences between our two hitches, let's look at some of the similarities. They're both going to be class 3 hitches, which means they're going to provide us that 2 inch by 2 inch receiver tube opening. Neither one of them are going to require any kind of drilling or welding. And even though they do mount slightly different, they're going to use all factory weld nuts and we're just going to have a few bolts to put in place. Both of our hitches are going to use a standard 5 8 pin and clip or a 5 8 locking device to secure any kind of accessory to it. However, you'll notice that the draw tight is going to have this secondary hole towards the back of the receiver tube and that's going to be used exclusively for the J-pin stabilization device, which is nice if any of your accessories don't have an anti-rattle built in. To sum everything up, if appearance is a major concern of yours, I would definitely go with the Kurt because it's going to leave our muffler in the factory location and it's still going to be hidden behind the bumper. As far as ease of installation, again the Kurt's going to take it. With a higher weight capacity and tongue weight for standard use, I would give it to the draw type. Even with weight distribution, you're going to have a higher tongue weight and fairly similar gross trailer rate. And finally for clearance, the Kurt's going to take it as well. And that'll finish up your look at the best hitch options for your Lexus RX 450H.